My name is Reverend Willie Williams, and welcome to Doc Ministries uh, Presents. We, we're glad that you can watch the show, whether it's in your home, uh, especially in your home, uh, in, in, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, uh, uh, any other area in your home. We're just excited to bring you uh, this presentation. We always encourage uh, visitors as well as uh, family members, friends, and acquaintances to go down to the Lower Night Ward and, and see the devastation that had been taking place since Katrina, but also look forward to seeing the restoration that will be uh, taking place. Uh, we, we know that some of the uh, areas are still overgrown, but we believe in God uh, we're thanking God for the volunteers that come down every year and help uh, not only uh, the Lower Night Ward, but every area every other area in, in the uh, city that's uh, not 100% back. Uh, again, we, we just thank God uh, for those volunteers. Keep coming uh, until the city is back 100%. 100%. Uh, again, we also are uh, encouraged uh, and, and excited about our co-host, uh, the Reverend Dow Smith, also known as D.K. Smith, the PM pastor. He has a saying that goes like this. Yeah, well, from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on WYLD AM, I'll take you home in style with a smile. And he says that because he has the finger, he has a finger on the pulse of what's taking place in the city. And uh, not only uh, does he have a finger on the pulse of what's taking place locally in the city, but he has a national, international, and even a global touch. And he can tell you a little bit about that. You're right. And as you mentioned, I uh, thank everyone for viewing in their homes. But do you know they could, if they have a desktop, a laptop, a notebook, uh, smartphone, whatever, any device you can get online. You can check out uh, DAP Ministries TV show on YouTube. Use that as your search, DAP, D-A-P, Ministries TV show, and then you'll find this and other shows that we have um, already done on YouTube. So just for those who are not here locally, they can check it out. Uh, also, remind you to check out the fact that it's coming up for that time. Give us an announcement. Yeah, it's coming up for that time for the. And what time is it? And registration for the spring registration for the uh, 2014 semester of the Union Baptist College and Theological Seminary uh, at the E.J. Thompson Senior Multipurpose Center. That's at 626 South Galvis Street. It's going to be Tuesday, January 7th, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Wednesday, January the 8th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. As well as Thursday, January the 9th, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. All classes will begin on January the 15th. The division begins at 8 a.m. and the evening division begins at 6 p.m. And for additional information, you can contact the register, Dr. Helen McMurray, at 504-525-0580. That's 525-0580. Or you can email, email them at unionseminary at bellsouth.net. Dr. Robert Turner, Senior President, and Dr. Kenneth L. McDowell is the academic dean. Also remind everyone that this is a new year and going on from the, um, starting on January 1st and going all the way to January 7th is the City United in Prayer, the meeting at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome and Exterior Concourse C uh, in Ch by Champion Square area. And there's uh, parking provided by the old New Orleans Center by Macy's. It's from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. all the way up until January 7th. And so they're asking for the people to come out. Uh, Pastor Antoine Berry is one of the ones who's spearheading this. And basically it came for the part when Jesus went to his disciples when he went to pray. And he said, could you not pray with me for one hour? They couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't you know? do it. They were tired. And, yeah, and they ate too. You know what happens after you eat. You get sleepy. Oh. So what happened was, so they said that's why they're going to do it 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. for an hour. So it's an hour of prayer for everyone. And there's no food served. Yeah, I know. It's early in the morning, yeah. But I'll tell you what, I, if you don't mind, I'd like to introduce our guest. Yeah, we want you to introduce our guest. i tell you, a long time ago, I used to play a trumpet. I don't play it no more. But if I had, I'd probably would be in a band uh, such as our guest is. He plays the trombone. He goes by the name of Ursel Bogan. That's right. And so we want to invite you here. Um, like what you play. Thank you, man. And um, how long have you been playing? I've been playing the trombone since uh, high school started in a brass band, playing in uh, Stooges Brass Band. I played tuba mm -hmm. for the school. All right. And ended up playing trombone for the brass band. I don't know how that happened, but thank God it happened. Now, before we ask you questions, uh, what high school? I went to John F. Kennedy. Okay. 
Yeah. Shout I went to Carnegie. That's okay. We still appreciate yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it. I graduated. And where you in went to? GW Call. All right. We always just got represented. That's <laughs> yeah. all. Yeah. Any of those schools still? Yeah, Carve is still in existence. They're I don't, trying to. Yeah, they're trying to they, they, uh, they uh, trying to make it non-existent, but right. it's still in existence. It's not. The old campus, it's it's a new facility. Uh, I think they're still in uh, uh, in, in the portable buildings. Yeah, I don't the think they yeah, the the, the yeah. Hur Hurricane uh, Katrina really messed up some of our landmarks and, and some of our uh, institutions, our schools, and and um, they're they're trying to, to leave that legacies uh, still intact and and they're going through some trouble in, in getting that done. But you know we, we need to be more conscious. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Alumni as well as uh, 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 public citizens need to be conscious of what those contributions did as far as educating uh, students and and uh, then they're no longer students unless they're students of Christ that continue on, mm -hmm. but their, their, their students um, need to know the history and from which they came from, that, that, that way they can keep on building that, that uh, uh, legacy. Um, as, as Reverend Smith has already said, your interest in music started at a young age? Yeah, it started at a young age. I was playing in church as a kid, playing the drums, singing in church, things like that. Uh, and that's where I get my melody from on the trombone. Even if you see me out playing at a wedding or birthday party or something like that, I use my melodies. Like you hear a horn or somebody singing or organ or something like that. So that's where a lot of my melodies and style of music come from, come from church. Now the interest of, of you know not not just demonstrating the God gifted talent that you have, but it's also an interest where you want to bring this to more churches. Yes, and and an opportunity for young students, that may, maybe maybe not as young as you, but uh, that young child that may uh, be taking uh, music or, or, or vocal or instrumental music in school. Yeah, and and I don't know if they they do it in the schools anymore, but we came from an area where you yeah. you, you you took instrumental music and you also had the opportunity to take vocal music. Yeah. So you you were well rounded in that respect, but your your group wants to offer this to to the church community. Right. It's, it's not a lot in the schools anymore. They don't offer it like they used to. They used to actually have music programs and choirs and stuff like that at every school that you go to. It's it's not like that anymore. And you have different organizations like uh, the Roots of Music. They're starting off uh, children, I think, from the age of like seven on up teenagers and older, teaching them how to play the instruments with reading skills and they're, they're actually marching in parades. They, mm -hmm. they paraded at the Rose Bowl year before last. So they're doing some great things and, and that's one of the, the uh, components that we have in New Orleans right now, teaching the children the music. And what I want to do, I want to start something kind of different where it's, uh, you can start it in as uh, early as you want to, right in your church, you know, because our churches, we can, we can use those horn uh, components in the music. And, and it's not just the, 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 uh, the brass section, the horn section. You're, you're talking about strings, you're talking about drums. Keyboard. You're, you're talking about the whole, yeah. if anything, you can build a symphony in your own church. Yeah. If, if the children, the young people that want to come, they can be trained, then they can do uh, uh, the, the recitations that, that, that people can come out and hear. The growth right. or the improvement that we used to call it, because when we coming up, they all they say, I ain't saying nothing, because DK already told me he was you third trumpet, huh? Uh, and I stayed third trumpet. Th and stayed for three years, th I was third trumpet. <laughs> three yeah. years, for each I, year. I didn't advance, you know, on, yeah. on my own. I just wanted, and to be honest with you, uh, I just wanted to march in the parade. You know, well, third, trumpet, <laughs> third, third trumpet, trumpet is important. I know. Yeah, I know. But, but but for for for, for growth. You, you oh, gotta, yes. you gotta go at least the second. Ah, you know, that's too hard. Dude. That means you have to study more. You yeah. have to right. practice more. Right. And so when you're third, you say, "What you do? I just blow every now and then." That's Ooh. right. I blow those long notes. <laughs> all, you just hold it. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. 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 Just hold it. Just hold it. All right. You, you finish. <laughs> that's needed. That's but, your background. Yeah, if yeah, you don't yeah. have that third trumpet or that chord or, you know, it's it don't fulfill what you're doing with the music, everything. Oh, yeah, when it comes together, yeah. it sounds good. But, you know, after a while, you say, well, what do you do? All I play is C. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what? Every, every, every band needs that. Yep. Like I said, need that C. Yeah. I mean, need that C. So, and I'll be honest with you. 
I look back and I think on what if I kept it up and everything. But, um, and I say this humbly, don't get me wrong, my talents are vast. So I don't necessarily have to play the trumpet. It, it I might have up, stifled you. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I worked as Mouth a cook. I, I, I can cook and all like that. So I did some of the things like that. Of course, I'm a communicator and all like that. So uh, the trumpet would have been something that was a sideline, but I don't know if it would have been something that would have been foreground for me. And maybe that's why I didn't do as much. Right. Because, you know. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate good music. Yeah, 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 and, and that's the whole thing that we're saying by, by uh, uh, the diversity of the instruments and the training will help the church as well because then it, it, it brings in, I, I, being from New Orleans, uh, I think our legacy is that uh, we, we started jazz. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the birthplace of jazz. Bur birthplace yeah. of we jazz. claim it. Yes. But, but that's not only the only thing that we do. That's not the, the uh, only uh, musical art that we have. We have gospel, too. Yeah. Uh, 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 give, me a, give me a famous person. Mahalia well, hey, Jackson. I know come you're going to do that. I know from you're New Orleans, from come on. New Orleans. Yeah, that's from right. Queen of gospel. And there are many more. Uh -huh. yeah. But, but we, we have a legacy that we need to continue. And, and what you're doing to continue that legacy is, is, is helping the church grow. Right in a musical way. And then the other uh, transfer is that it is hopeful that they would grow in a spiritual way. Right, and we yeah. have the most unique culture in the world. Mm -hmm. And if we can add that to our gospel music and put that out, like you have the Mississippi Mass Choir, and you have the Alabama Chorus, and I mean, we could do the same things here and add that culture of the brass and the strings and just our whole like everything that we have down here like it's so much that's why they call it the gumbo mm -hmm. so much that we have in store down here that we can add to it mm -hmm. to bring it to its uh to the top mm -hmm. you know? making me hungry <laughs> <laughs> we, we we're about to go to break we're gonna go to break but we're gonna hear uh, uh, at least one of the songs that 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 you can offer to to the community as well as to the church. We're gonna we're gonna hear that. Uh, 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 Ursel is going to have his band come together and they're going to play just a repertoire of what they can do. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. Uh, this is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. Plus, two against one is more intimidating when we force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate, as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, I don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you credit life insurance. You don't really need it, but... It puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or... I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit cybertipline.com. And we're back, and we're going to let you hear Urshel uh, uh, Bogan and his band. Amen. 
Try it. 
Enjoy that. Um, Ursel, give us the name of the members of the band. Violinist Donald Sertan. Uh, the keyboardist was the world's famous Tanya mm -hmm. Boy Cannon. Yeah. And me, myself, Ursel Bogan on trombone. So, so that's just a little bit of, of what you can enjoy by hearing that. And, and the good thing about it is uh, the, the offering of, of the training of, of, of just for young kids mm -hmm. to learn. This art, you know, is, 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 is a beauty. It's really, really great. And, and we thank God for you that, that, that God had put it in your heart to do this. Because this is something that, that should be left to prosperity that our children will know. They have a legacy. They have a history. And so the good thing about it is now they have an opportunity to be trained and know that there are some people. I was going to say, I know you can just say it right fast here. There's some contact information if anyone is interested in contacting you. Contact information once again 504 470 9000. Oh, that's easy to remember. Say that easy. again 504 470 9000. And we do weddings, we do funerals, we do church uh, anniversaries, whatever. If you find a need to have a band or some musician, singer, whatever, just give us a call. Are you on Facebook? Facebook. Twitter, Instagram. What's your, what's your, your name? King Garfield 9. All right. K I N G Garfield, G A R F I E L D, and number 9. All right. Got to gotta sit there and talk about digital power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're digital. I'm digital. I won't even say who's analog. <laughs> you're digital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and so. Oh, the blessing is that that uh, this this is an art that needs to continue on, and and by you uh, uh, giving your service, because really you're giving your service and, and your talent, and and doing it for the churches, and uh, giving the information out that people can can utilize this. Um, I won't be surprised to see the next time y'all get together, y'all be on the Grammy Grammy show, you know, the law show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you yeah. because. Um, New Orleans has a lot to offer, not just our food. Oh, uh, no. Reverend Smith, I know we, we're known for our, our, our food, we're known for our music, but we need to be known for the people, the indigenous people that live here yeah. and that have so much to give. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we, we just, we're just blessed to God that we can uh, share an opportunity to share your gift. And, and so, you know, uh, this is not your first time being on the show. We're going to get you back again. And, and I, I know you have a, a, a cast of a many musicians. Yeah. But we thank God for those that came on to the show today and gave us a tidbit of what y'all are going to do. Now, um, the, the other thing is, is I, I know you're planning something 
I know you can't mention it right now, but, but, but you're planning something. And I, I think the combination of that is uh, in training these young kids. Maybe that be be something that 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 it can bring to to our uh, community. Yeah. And and like a, just simple recitals. It all come together. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to tell our, our, our viewing audience because uh, uh, they they should know where where you worship at. I was gonna say you, <laughs> who's your you pastor? Worship, yeah, who's your pastor? pastor. And, and don't forget, that's somebody special in your life. Yep, <laughs> Pastor George Green, that's my pastor at the House of Healing. That's 2912 Conti Street. Uh, we bring in a greater New Orleans. There is a greater New Orleans. You know, uh, I thank my musicians. Today, my wife came in, and uh, she's in the background smiling and cheering and, and all kind of stuff. So, you know, that helps as well. Hey, Amen. You know, that's my help. Help my me. My help me. Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, well, that goes a long way with support. If you if you got that that support from family, friends, and and, and special loved ones, that helps you continue on yeah. your, your art of, of playing music. Because I, I I know a lot of people. Uh, uh, my uncle he used to tell us uh, um, um, he 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 used to sing with 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 Al Green. Mm -hmm. But he said he remember Al Green wasn't all of that mm -mm. And, until he got his yeah. big opportunity. Yeah. He said, yeah, man, Al was singing with me. He could have been background for me and stuff <laughs> like that. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm uncle say not. Nah. He sang a little bit. He's still singing in his old age and stuff like that. And he does a great job in doing that. Um, again, we, we, we just thank God for you. And, and uh, we, we can't thank God enough for, for you coming on. We're going to get you back on again. Appreciate we, it. We, we, we want uh, our viewing public to know uh, that this is an opportunity for them to take advantage of. And, and they need to take advantage of it. Amen. Again, we thank God for uh, Reverend Smith. Thank God for all of you that watched the show. We always have a saying that you should go to a church of your choice and worship the Lord. We'll always invite you to come on out to True Love Missionary Baptist Church, 2710 Phillips Street. Worship time is at 8 a.m. in the morning. I want to say again, too, uh, if we haven't said it, uh, Happy, Happy New, New Year's. Year. That's and, right. And, and, and we, we hope that your New Year's is finding you well and that God will prosper you. So next time, we just ask God's choice, His blessing. God bless you and God keep you. That's our prayer.